she was good. From her first breath, she was so sweet. I don't know where she came from. She was nothing like me. No meanness, no jealousy, just good. I know. I thought if I could make something so good, so pure, maybe I'm not a monster. Listen, listen to me. She was my daughter, and I failed her. No, I knew this would happen. The witch told me years ago. She promised me three children. She promised me they'd die and gold their shrouds. Everything she said came true. You couldn't have stopped it. Hey guys, Kevin here. And on today's Rewind, I want to talk about Marcella Baratheon. Officially, Princess Marcella is the daughter of King Robert Baratheon and Queen Cersei Lannister. But she is actually the product of Queen Cersei's incestuous relationship with her twin brother, Sir Jaime Lannister. She is the granddaughter of Tywin Lannister, niece of Tyrion Lannister, sister of King Joffrey Baratheon and King Tommen Baratheon, and the betrothed of Prince Tristan Martell of Dorne. Princess Marcella is seen in the first episode as King Robert comes to Winterfell to name Ned Stark Hand. Unlike her mother, Marcella is a caring person who is relieved to hear that Bran Stark will live after her parents attempted to kill him. Bread and two of those little fish. And a mug of dark beer to wash it down. And bacon burnt black. <laughs> Little brother. Beloved siblings. Is Bran going to die? Apparently not. What do you mean? The maester says the boy may live. No mercy letting a child linger in such pain. Only the gods know for certain. All the rest of us can do is pray. The charms of the North seem entirely lost on you. I still can't believe you're going. It's ridiculous even for you. Where's your sense of wonder? The greatest structure ever built. The intrepid men of the Night's Watch. The wintry abode of the White Walkers. Tell me you're not thinking of taking the black. And go celibate? The whores would go begging from dawn to Casterly Rock. No, I just want to stand on top of the wall and piss off the edge of the world. <laughs> Children don't need to hear your filth. Come. Marcella sits with her family during the tourney held in Ned Stark's honor in season one and is happy to see her uncle on Joffrey's name day in season two. We looked for you on the battlefield. You were nowhere to be found. I've been here ruling the kingdoms. What a fine job you've done. Look at you. More beautiful than ever. And you, you're going to be bigger than the hound, but much better looking. <laughs> this one doesn't like me. Can't imagine why. We heard you were dead. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too, dear. Death is so boring, especially now with so much excitement in the world. As Tyrion settles into becoming Hand of the King, he uses Marcella's potential betrothals to weed out which small council members are untrustworthy. Grand Maester Pycel fails this test, and Marcella is betrothed to a young Dornish prince. I can trust you, Pycel, can I not? Why, yes, of course, my lord. These are perilous times, and the Crown must forge new alliances. And these alliances must often be sealed in matrimony. Matrimony, uh, yes. I'm trusting the Council with these plans, but the Queen mustn't know. I can't have her meddling in affairs that could determine the future of the realm. There's too much at stake. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, I shall be silent as the grave. I'm brokering an alliance with House Martell of Dorne. Princess Marcella will wed their youngest son when she comes of age, ensuring their loyalty 
and their army should be needed. Marcella, sent away to dawn. But remember, the queen mustn't know. Ooh, the queen mustn't know. I love conversations that begin this way. I plan to marry Princess Marcella off to Theon Greyjoy. Theon Greyjoy. Forgive me, my lord, but how? He grew up a ward of Winterfell. He fights for Rob Stark. Precisely. Theon's father loathes the Starks and will convince the boy to come to our side. Greyjoy can destroy the Northern Army from within and we can have his father's ships. But remember, you must tell no one. Tell no one what? I plan to wed Princess Marcella to Robin Aaron of the Vale. When will Joffrey and Sansa be married? Soon, darling, when the war is over. Mother says I'll have a new gown for the ceremony and another for the feast. But yours will be ivory, since you're the bride. The princess just spoke to you. Pardon, your grace. I'm sure your dress will be beautiful, Marcella. I'm counting the days until the fighting's done and I can pledge my love to the king in sight of the gods. You monster. Marcella is my only daughter. Do you really think I'll let you sell her like a common whore? Marcella's a princess. Some would say she was born for this. I will not let you ship her off to Dawn as I was shipped off to Robert Baratheon. Dawn is the safest place for her. Are you mad? The Martells loathe us. That's why we need to seduce them. We're going to need their support in the war your son started. She'll be a hostage. A guest. You won't get away with this. You think the piece of paper father gave you keeps you safe. Ned Stark had a piece of paper too. It's done, Cersei. No. You cannot stop it. No! Just how safe do you think Marcella is if this city falls? Do you want to see her raped, butchered like the Targaryen children? Make no mistake, they'll mount her pretty little head on a spike right beside yours. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Killed? By whom? Accounts differ. Most seem to implicate Captain Stark in some way. Really? Who'd have thought? Some say it was one of his own king's guard, while still others say it was Stannis himself who did it after negotiations went sour. To whomever did it, I say, well done. It's not what Varys says. He says Renly's army's flocking to support Stannis, which would give Stannis superiority over us on both land and sea. Littlefinger says we can outspend him three to one. And I say father raised you to have too much respect for money. Stannis Baratheon is coming for us. Sooner rather than later. Aren't there other things you should be doing, like sealing my daughter in a crate so you can ship her away? She'll be safer in Dawn. Yes, I know how concerned you are for her safety. So happens that I am. Marcella's a sweet, innocent girl, and I don't blame her at all for you. May the seven guide the princess on her journey. May the father give her health. May the crone give her wisdom. May the warrior give her courage. <laughs> One day I pray you love someone. I pray you love her so much. When you close your eyes, you see her face. I want that for you. I want you to know what it's like to love someone. To truly love someone. Before I take her from you. In Season 4, a Prince of Dorne, Oberyn Martell, comes to King's Landing for Joffrey's wedding. And after his death, Princess Marcella's safety is threatened. It's a shame your older brother couldn't attend the wedding. Please give him our regards. With any luck, the gout will abate with time and he'll be able to walk again. They call it the rich man's disease. 
A wonder you don't have it. No woman in my part of the country don't enjoy the same lifestyle as our counterparts in Dawn. People everywhere have their differences. In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is considered distasteful. What a fortunate thing for you, former Queen Regent, that your daughter Marcella has been sent to live in the latter sort of place. I haven't seen my daughter in over a year. The last time I saw her, she was swimming with two of my girls in the water gardens. <laughs> Laughing in the sun. I want to believe that. I want to believe she's happy. You have my word. You don't hurt little girls in Dawn. Everywhere in the world they hurt little girls. Would you bring her a gift for me? I wasn't there for her name day. I don't know when I'll see her again. Anything at all? The best shipwrights in King's Landing have been working on it for months. Marcella loves the open water. I will have it sailed down to Sunspear for her. Please tell her. Her mother misses her very much. A summons from the Queen. Two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to Marcella. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. It's a threat. No note? They blame us for the death of Oberyn and his sister, and every other tragedy that's befallen their cursed country. I will burn their cities to the ground if they touch her! Softer. Not so loud. Our daughter's in danger, and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. The world can't know she's our daughter. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. If I was a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. What was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from Highgarden. I'm going to make things better. You've never made anything better. I'm going to Dawn, and I'm bringing our daughter home. You can't just ask Prince Duran to give her back. She's promised to his son. I'm not going to ask him anything. You go down there with an army, it's an act of war. No army. Do you know where they're keeping her? Oberyn mentioned the war's gardens. I'll find her. Is there anything else, Your Grace? You're going to dawn. A one-handed man. Alone. I never said I was going alone. Oberyn is dead. And this Lannister girl skips about the water gardens, eating our food, breathing our air. How many of your brothers and sisters do they have to kill? Let me have her. Let me send her to Cersei, one finger at a time. I loved my brother. And you made him very happy. For that, you will always have a place in my heart. We do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Not here. Not while I rule. 
And how long will that be? Prince Doran will weep for your father, but nothing else. We must avenge Oberyn ourselves. Without Doran, we have no army to march against the Lannisters. We don't need an army to start a war. Queen Cersei loves her children. And we have one of them. You may have a problem. A ship's captain who found me in Plankytown claiming he had information to sell. He told me he smuggled Jaime Lannister into Dorne. He's come from Marcella. If he gets to her before we do, we lose our only chance for revenge. I'm going to ask you tomorrow. What if he says no? He won't. We've waited long enough. I want you to be my wife. Now. What is it? Do you want to marry me? Because our family's arranged it? Or do you... We, we can't. Not, not yet. Why not? You know why not. Someone will see. You are going to be my wife. I... am going to be your husband. We're allowed to walk through the gardens together. How many other girls have you walked through these gardens? I like the way your eyes go squinty when you're jealous. They do not go squinty, and you didn't answer the question. They make a lovely couple. A Lannister and a Marktown. They have no idea how dangerous that is. We must protect them. Yes, my prince. You haven't had to use that axe of yours in a long time. I hope you remember how. I remember how. Well, she's made herself at home. Marcella? Uncle Jamie? I... I don't understand. What are you doing here? Let's speak in private. I am Tristan Martel. Tristan, it's my intended. Excellent. Good to meet you. Well, we weren't expecting you, Lord Jamie. Why don't you let them have some time alone, son? Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something stupid. We have to go, Marcella. Now. You hurt him! He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to... Barasan, daughter of Oberyn Martel. I fight for Dorne. Who do you fight for? Drop your weapons. You'll be all right? I'm sorry for that. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. Why is it happening at all? Your mother's worried about you. Threats have been made. Dawn's too dangerous for you. I've come to take you home. This is my home. This has been my home for years. I didn't want to come here, but she told me to. I did what she said. I did my duty, and now she's forcing me to go back? It's for your own good. 
These are complicated matters. No, it's not complicated at all. It's simple. I love Tristane. I'm going to marry him and we're staying right here. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know me. Prince Duran. Forgive us. We started without you. Please, sit. Princess Marcella. Uncle? What a lovely dress. You don't like it? You must be cold. Not at all. The Dornish climate agrees with me. Prince Tristane. How's your jaw? The flea bite. What are you doing in Dorn? Looking after the safety of my niece, the Princess Marcella. And rather than send a raven or speak to me directly, you decided to enter my country in secret and abduct our guest by force. We received a threatening message. The Princess's necklace in the jaws of a viper. That necklace was stolen from my room. <gasps> Excellent. The last meal before the beheading? Oh, I can't behead you. Many in Dorne want war. But I've seen war. I've seen the bodies piled on the battlefields. I've seen the orphans starving in the cities. I don't want to lead my people into that hell. No, you want to break bread with the Lannisters. And that is precisely what we are doing. Let us drink to Tommen, the first of his name, king of the Andals and the first men Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. King Tommen insists on his sister's return to the capital. I'm afraid he does. I cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. And my son, Prince Tristane, will accompany you both. If the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn is to continue, their engagement must stand. I accept. One more thing. My brother was named to the small council before his death. Your father understood the importance of keeping Dorn in the fold. With Oberyn gone, Tristane will take his place on the small council. You have my word. The word of a king's slayer. No wonder you can't stand. You have no spine. You are mother to four of my nieces, girls I love very much. For their sake, I hope you live a long and happy life. Speak to me that way again, and you won't. May I inquire as to the fate of my man? Braun. Tell me, Sir Jamie, in King's Landing, how do they punish a commoner who strikes a prince? He said it was just a flea bite. The fault is mine. Braun is merely a soldier following my orders. If anyone should be punished, it's me. Prince Tristane must learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. I have learned the value of mercy from my father. I'll set your man free. You're a good man. On one condition. Prince Duran, Sobran of the Blackwater. I didn't realize there were knights of the Blackwater. Only the one. I believe you've already met Prince Tristane. Prince? Sorry about the other day. Prince Tristane here is a man of mercy. He's agreed to grant you your freedom. I'm glad to hear it. Pie looks good. There was one condition. Perhaps some soup instead. Unfortunately, all men must die. I wish you a safe journey home. Thank you.
Forgive me, child. I wish you all the happiness in the world. lose it this time. I'll never take it off again. I know you didn't want to leave Dawn, but I'm glad you're coming home. Your mother's desperate to see you. And I'm glad Tristane's coming with us. He seems like a nice boy. You're lucky. Arranged marriages are rarely so... so well arranged. Do you think Mother will like him? If she sees you're happy, I'm sure she will. And <laughs> you really believe that? Have you ever known your mother to like anyone aside from her children? She likes you. I'm not so sure about that. Listen. There's something I wanted to tell you. Something I should have told you long ago. So. Now that you've seen more of the world, You've learned how complicated things can be, people can be. The Lannisters and the Martells have hated each other for years, but you've fallen in love with Tristane. It was an accident, really. I mean, what were the chances? You happened to fall in love with the man you were assigned to marry? <laughs> My point is, we don't choose whom we love. It just, well, it beyond our control. I sound like an idiot. No, you don't. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying and failing to say. I know what say. you're trying to say. No, I'm afraid you don't. I do. I know. About you and Mother. I think a part of me always knew. And... I'm glad. I'm glad that you're my father. Masala? 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 